Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're gonna play some more Big Blue Blob in your previous house four. Um, okay, so I've changed my mind. <laughs> I am not going to not pass reforms because I want Institute Reich's Regiment. I want the diplomatic reputation and diplomat from this. Uh, I think that that would be quite nice. And also, it'd be great if we could get to this one. Um, plus, now that I am actually in the Empire, it's gonna be so, so much easier for me to maintain power that I think I can afford to do it. So, what we're going to do then, is before we do any other wars, we're going to start adding provinces to the Empire. We're going to add one now, and then we're going to pass the reform. Uh, so we're going to institute Reich's reform, and then we are going to, again, take the time to just add every province we control into the Empire. There is no keybind for this, unfortunately. It's not something that I've had to worry about too often. We want to try. I mean, I can get almost all the way to 50, I think. Can't add this. Why? Because why not? Oh, it's not my land. Derp. <laughs> That's a good reason. I understand that if you have like a really laggy computer, you can actually get extra Imperial Authority by clicking really, really, really fast. Works better if you let the game run while you do it, but I'm not going to game the system that much. I don't think we need to. I think that enough things have gone well in this campaign that uh, we don't need to cheese it, you know? Cheese it. Ooh, those sound good. I could afford, I could afford to eat a couple of those. Okay, Leonie, Dauphin, Arben. What are we at now? 27? Okay. Now, if only I had become the Emperor before the Burgundian Inheritance and I just got all of that land up north for free. I would be taking it to the next level of ridiculous. And islands, I can still do. Yeah, cool. As long as they're in Europe. All right, and Imperial Terrain. Okay, so it's all part of it, and Valencia is uh, apparently, yes, it is eligible. That means that this these two should be eligible as well, right? Mm, must be Christian before it can be added, so that's wrong. Uh, this one needs to be adjacent. This is adjacent, totally, it's totally adjacent. Join. Must we integrate that guy, that'll get the next reform done. I don't think there's any other province that I missed. We got almost all the way to Reich's Regiment. Okay, next up. I would prefer if Cologne would end their war so that I could have my, my troops back. And why is Brittany still lending me troops when he's now my subject? Like, will he ever cancel them, I wonder? We're hostile to Cologne. Not because I've done anything wrong, but because he's done something wrong. I can enforce peace in March. All right, let's still briefly improve relations with, I don't know, somebody. A guy. Income is negative at the moment. I want to attack Portugal. But more importantly, I want to attack Austria. And in doing that, I'm actually thinking to... do a quick alliance with Venice, and then call him in on a promise of territory. I know for sure he would join right away. That does put me at 10 out of 7 relations. But well, part of the relationship is the uh, military access with the rain, which I can't cancel until next month anyway. I think. Yeah, that or I just got rid of my diplomat that was supposed to do that. Yep, I did. I think we're done spying on England. We also get Imperial banned by taking the, uh, the thing, so we can attack Denmark directly and Poland and all these people, and that's going to be a great method of expansion. So cancel military access through Lorraine. Try to get alone to stop being at war so I get my troops back on the 11th of March. We do still have a little bit of uh, stuff. I'm the Emperor. I should be able to march wherever the hell I want. I'm not at war, though. That's why. Crap. If I went to war, I'd get my troops back pretty quickly. If I don't go to war, I have to ask for military access and pay diplo points, which I need. All right, and I also said I do definitely want to start the integration of you. We're going to start that now. 
I don't need to integrate Brittany. That was never really part of my plan. I just kind of wanted a minion. Rainy has declared war on the Teutons. Marania versus the Teutons, okay? Alright, I guess we're gonna have to ask for military access through the rain again. Crying out loud. All right, we could take another military idea. That was fast. Oh, no, no, I never took one. That's right. I was thinking to wait for the influence or the, the next leader. Which is actually a surprisingly good one. 434 Regency Council is pretty awesome. All right, we will dispatch the guy with two siege pip. Nikolaus. No, the other guy. The other Nikolaus. Over here. The 12. Go there. Fight that. And I need you to just not want to be in the war anymore. I mean... Just because I'm about to rock your world doesn't mean I can't improve relations with you at the same time, right? Austria has declared war upon Venice. They cite conquest. Hmm. That might explain why he unmothballed the forts up north. That also means that most of his army is going to be down there. And it also means I don't have to go over the relationship limit anymore. Pick up the alliance. He's already going to be at war with Austria. Or, uh, and because it's a defensive war, that means that Venice gets to call in the Knights and Savoy. Extra participant that I wasn't counting on. Nice. Six, six, six. It's a sign. Okay. We are currently occupying and besieging your capital. I think you should want to leave the war now. with mines and other people that don't matter as much as I'd like, but it's okay. Didn't I say I kind of wanted to try to get this? Eh, whatever. I think in 85 I can get some Diplo points from the burgers anyway. More around there. Still no desire for peace, huh? Not really. Not well, he's got the capital occupied. It is a level 1 fort, so it should fall pretty quickly. Also, I have Military Tech 7. I need a couple cannons. I need a Big Bertha. I need five Big Berthas right now. I need to take another loan. That is an expensive loan. I can't use them in this war because they are the Thierry. Crap, that's not good. I'm suffering attrition here. Alright, if I attack Austria, Trier says yes, Castile says no, Bohemia says probably not no. Alright, no thank you, he says. Um, Provence. I think I have enough stuff going on with Provence. Why did I lose trust with Provence? Like I, could, I could raise trust once. Have him prepare for war, that's another 20 reasons. Hmm. Maybe close. You barely have any income. Would you would you be willing to just stop? You're not necessary. Following countries are likely to hire. They're already rented out. Scotland and 80. Unit leaders. Nope. Right, just whatever, Brittany. Keep keep renting them to me for free. I don't see how that's really any different than him being a subject at this point. Well, I guess at this point, I don't care if I have a truce with this guy, because I'm already part of the Empire. Um, I will enforce peace and let him say no, and I'll just be the defender, and then at least that way I get participation and I get some of the uh some of the actual uh cash for him surrendering. I don't think this ruins anything. And if anything, it, it lets me spread out my armies better, and uh, gives me free military access everywhere, so I can cancel the military access through the rain again, for like the 18th time. 
right, so if I die today, I am kind of old. I still have the vote by three. Just top off relations with Trier just in case. Trier and Bohemia is good, and Platinet loves me, and Mines I was just improving with. Brandenburg. There's a guy I should touch up relations with. I don't know why you're still in this war. It seems dumb. And also, because this is a defensive war, it doesn't even block me from declaring my offensive war and calling people in. I don't know if the alliance with Castile is really going to last much longer. Probably only going to last long enough for me to attack Portugal. Which should be like now. I think Portugal is almost out of troops. He's got 2,000 troops total, so... Alright. So, as long as I get my war deck on Portugal, then I can probably break the alliance with Castile. That'll be fine. I'm about ready to be able to fabricate on him anyway. I will have a truce with him for quite a while. I could always try to go to war with somebody that he is willing to defend if I wanted to break that timer. But it's only going to be a five-year truce anyway. And I can get onto one, two, three. And then down here. If I get in position properly, I can actually get on every single province and find his army and stack wipe it. Portugal is on. Still 2,000 troops. Any reason to wait? I think, think so. Beja. Beja it is. This does block me from declaring war on the Austrians right now, but I want to I take advantage of this, so let's do that. Got the mothballed navy. Uh, let's let it repair for a little bit. Let's get over onto Beja. Get onto Evora. With a guy to block. Let's go to Lisboa. Let's have you guys march over to Porto in case that army is there. I'm not sure where it is. Okay, and drop off a dude here. Yeah, his army must have actually been trained either on an island or it got routed somewhere. Alright, so let's just send a guy to there. We'll send six down to there. He goes down to there. The eight plus the one makes nine. I need one more troop down here. Oh, and cannons! Cannons! Yay! Um, we'll send one to the capital. I'm not going to commit all of them. Oh, that's kind of dumb. I should definitely commit all of them. Send four to Evora. And one to Lisboa. Check Navy. Got three heavies. Got to repair a little bit longer. Okay. What do we do next? Still trying to take this mission to incorporate Savoy into the realm, so that's fun. I sure hope I don't ever click that Leinster thing. The election looks solid. Um, as soon as I get above 25 war score, I can break the alliance with Castile. And since I have full diplomatic, I can break the royal marriage as well. Get rid of the extra relationship slot, get some more monarch points so that I can do stuff and things. Your opinion on me doesn't matter at all. Very loyal. Anything I can do here? Nope, 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 and nope. Uh, do I need the Diplo Rep anymore? I kind of, I think I almost kind of do, actually, because I need to have the Diplo Rep to try to get these guys to join the war against Austria. I'd like him to soften himself up against Venice a little bit, but...
How's the participation going here? Suddenly France shows up and we have 16%. That's that's it, actually. Yeah, for that, I'll pay for that. Alright, there's Hessen. Portugal's separate piece. There's his two troops trying to land in Algarve. Land movement blocked by hostile fort. So I'm, I'm I've technically spawned in this land apparently now. All right, you go to Evora then. Actually, all of you guys just. No, yeah, you gotta go around. It all seems fine. Oh, man, my power projection is not that great, actually. Before anything bad happens, I definitely want to rival Castile. If I break my lines with him, I think he'll become a valid rival almost right away. Wait a second, why did that fall so fast? I sent a single troop there? Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, it's wrong color. It was Hessen that fell. Look at that. And then march, um... That's kind of weird. Can I not, like, march around? Much faster? No? I just stick together then, I guess. You have no chance to survive! Make your time! Inspirational leader, recover army morale. Nice. That is the one siege pip guy. Let's grab the two siege pip guy. This other Nikolaus can go here, and we only need... Nine plus the guy that's coming, so we'll leave nine behind. So now I can march this way? Before I had to go like that? That's fun. Weird. Nito. No loot to be had. Rather not suffer attrition. But I'm already stuck here. Thanks for making me suffer attrition, guys. Cool. I guess I'll do it. Twenty percent of the Catalonian separatists, and that's just Urgel. So I'm not actually looking to declare this war for a little while. I guess I will wait. Steel is probably going to end up. <laughs> can you believe this? He's going to end up. I think possibly losing his war. He's at negative eighteen war score. All kinds of bad stuff is going on with him. Can't excommunicate anyone yet for like another some months. Cannons are showing up. Trier is now declared war on Cologne. Mm, see, you're not supposed to do that either, buddy. Sorry. That's not appropriate. Stop attacking the electors. I am the emperor man now. I say what happens. There's to be peace within the empire. This army is completely stuck in this province. Cool. Unless I do get rid of you, reorganize, that guy into there, grab, reorganize, grab this guy out, now we can leave. Aha! Okay, and same thing here, I want to go down to like seven troops. On the army with the leader. Find a cannon. Reorganize. You guys into here. Select. Detach infantry. Leave. Second glorious conquest of Hessen is over. Frankfurt will pay war reps. That was just one guy getting knocked out. That's not important. There's loot to be had there, but I brought my army home already. I'm losing a lot of money. Heavies? I think they're repaired enough. Alright. Oh, God, so much freaking micro. Here, I'm gonna detach the infantry guy. 
Man, where's the other infantry guy? These guys. Combine the cannons, because I know they all came from the same place. I know. Probably don't need to be min-maxing the attrition this much, but... I like to avoid it if I can. Hey, the Kingdom of Italy and the Empire! Alright, that's good, actually, uh, because... Yeah, I'm gonna do stuff. Okay, sorry about that, Cologne. You shouldn't have done stuff. Who did you attack? I could actually separate peace right now and piss off the war leader, which is everyone. Never mind, that's a bad idea. You attacked Hess directly. I will just transfer it to Hess. I will march home. Please end the war. I need to end all of these wars. So we got four cannons here. We got... Ah, shoot, that's a mistake. There's no Siege Pip guy here. Oh no, the two Siege Pip guys not even here. Crap! I do not have enough war score yet. Now I do. Now I have 31. Now, I think, um... I think I'm sorry, Castile. I think we're done. I think it's uh, I think it's over. It's over between us. Sorry, sir. It was a good run. Sorry about that. Also, yeah, next month I'm gonna break off uh, the wedding. Second, Colonian conquest of Hessen. Cologne sees what's fallen and paid her more to Hess. See, no, that's not right. Now I am at war. You, so long as Hess is not at war, I should be allowed to do unlawful territory. I said you could not die. I did not say you could take land away. On the other hand, he didn't actually make anyone die. I think I gain... Don't I gain... He says yes. I've accepted one. I didn't gain anything for that. And I saw us now declared one clone. Oh, come on. Leave clone alone. Well, maybe one of them will full annex him and then I can make him spit him out. And that'll give me some... That'll give me Imperial Authority. Okay, the actual better progress is here. So I'm going to do a little swap if I can. I'm going to pull... Nikolaus and three of the cannons to the Lisboa. We'll swap in three infantry this way. Oh, that's just silly. March there so you can pick up some of these idiots. Oh, look at that. They'll actually let him Castile win a battle. Alright, and... Uh, Should be there before the next tick. I don't think he's gonna agree to the second demand. Even if I... Even if he really likes me, he's gonna say no to that one. Oh, only one reason. Zero reasons. He's almost willing. I, I whatever. We'll annex that guy if you want. It's fine. That guy stays there. This guy goes here. Clement needs to get pulled off. So... That stays. These guys leave. Okay. Messy. 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 Annoying. In fact. Still didn't make the siege finish. Damn. Whatever. I got the guys where they're supposed to be. I think. Yes. Levels of in privileges. Uh, that's fine. They can have them. Hey, Portugal. What you did up there? Okay, um... I think you were supposed to go to Urgell, or did that already happen? Nearly. We've done some unrest. 
What stops you from actually saying yes? Oh. It said zero, but it's actually like a thousand. Alright, cool. I gotta take a break here. I'll be back, though, in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the campaign. I'll see you in the next episode. I'll see you soon.